hello there. Probably didn't recognize me. I'm incognito. I'm hanging out in a very suspicious area called Union Square. And it's also called John Street. I wanted to come here and check it out. But more importantly, we are going to head to a spy house. Yes, we're going to talk about a spy house that has connections right here in Albuquerque. And a couple of the names that I'll be mentioning, you will probably recognize very famous, infamous couple. And uh, I just wanted to check out this area first. Then we're going to head up there and take a look at the spy house. Now, many, many years ago, I was told that John Street was the absolute most dangerous street there was in town. Of course, that was, of course, like I say, many, many years ago. And uh, I just wanted to come check it out. I'm sure it's changed. Looks like it's a more of a business area. Probation and parole offices located across the street. Okay, it looks like we've made it to the right area. Just right up uh, east of downtown. It's beautiful homes over here. Wow. Now, the reason I thought about this is because a video I did a while back at the Wheels Museum, there was a, a historian, a guy in there, that's written books about Albuquerque, and uh, he had mentioned there's a house that still has a plaque it says spy house and I never really thought about it until last night really went down a rabbit hole and found out that it was the meeting place of some KGB people uh, see if I can remember the names here David Greenglass and Harry Gold at the end of World War II about 1945 they would meet here and have meetings about, well, selling uh, national secrets. And here we are right here, and there is a plaque right there. It says the spy house. Wow, can you imagine? I'm going to sneak in a little closer here because there is a uh, historic plaque over here also. Freeman Apartments, built 1912. Wow. Spy House Parking. And here's their neighbors, which were very close. They must not have known what was going on. Harry Gold was a, uh, a chemist who traded secrets, and uh, David uh, Greenglass was an American machinist. And I'm not sure how they got caught up in this. I just know that uh, there's a long story, a lot more than I've researched, but uh, I wanted to make a long story short. Now the national notoriety that came out of uh, the meetings here, uh, Green Glass's sister and brother-in-law, which you may know the names, I believe it's Ellis, Elias, Ellis, and Julius Rosenberg. Yes, 
it led to them led to their capture all because of meetings right here at this house Isn't that amazing I got her name wrong it's Ethel Ethel Rosenberg and of course you know the story behind those two they were executed for espionage didn't think twice back then now gold got 30 years imprisonment he was let out early earlier than that full sentence and green glass was given 15 years I believe back in 51 uh, he uh, also didn't serve his whole sentence but uh, very interesting that we have a connection here of such a famous case uh, the Rosenbergs it's interesting that uh, they would choose Albuquerque I guess because back then it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere way away from the big cities and um, but it led to a larger thing I'm glad they they stopped them it kind of reminds me of uh, Breaking Bad and uh, Better Call Saul it's uh, like they had a house that was right in the middle of a regular neighborhood but they had tunnels going into another house and uh, no one suspected a thing in the shows at least <laughs> just you never know who your neighbor is living a normal life out exercising riding bicycles <laughs> and they could have some really bad people going in and out speaking of which I have the appropriate shirt on just out of a uh, Winky dink. I'm gonna walk here to the central. Take a peek up, uh, up and down central here. While I'm around this area. Now from here you can see the uh, Hotel Park Central and uh, Presbyterian Hospital. And a famous cafe down here called Olive Grove. Well, back down here at the houses. Just love these old houses. They have so much history. If these walls could talk type of thing, right? Just walking down copper here just a, just a little bit. Cool house down right there, uh, gray. It's an alley here. Oh, I wonder if we can get a look at the back of that house. I can't remember which one it was now. I think it was that one there. The yellow on it. Looks like a Another little home back here, like a mother-in-law quarters or something. Boarding house. Huh, a lot of these are bed and breakfast, boarding houses. Cabinet house. Look at that. Isn't that cool? With old homes, even when I was a little kid, um, when I was very little, a friend of mine, 
invited me to his house after school. And it wasn't too far, but it was quite a ways up the road. My mom may have driven me up there. Back when you could just drop kids off and not worry about them as much. Uh, and he had this house with all these big pillars in front. Not a big house, but just an old house with these big pillars and the smell of hay and horses. And he had this white horse. I don't think I rode it. I don't think I did, but he rode it around. I had a had a blast just uh, just watching him ride it. But I thought this is really weird. I live in a cookie cutter type of house in the suburbs, and this house is right in the middle. Very old home. I always think about that, and it's so cool that you keep these houses updated and preserved even though there's brand new buildings all around it. I've shown this before since we were down the street and practically across the street from this beautiful old hospital built in 1929 the hospital that I was born in no not 1929 but <clears throat> years ago I thought I would be remiss if I didn't show it I just love it I love the architecture and the fact that uh, I was born here. Maternity wards are usually up in the uh, third floor. Well, that's gonna do it, folks. That's gonna do it for today's video. I thought it was pretty interesting. I hope you did too. Anything that has a connection with Albuquerque, any big news story nationwide, either in the, in the past or present, I'm doubly interested in it, so. I'm glad I stumbled across this today. And uh, that's just gonna do it for now. And uh, please let me know what you thought about it and correct any of my mistakes. <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate you and I thank you for hanging on today. And I uh, hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>